Here is your pulmonary trunk. Okay, leads to the pulmonary artery, which brings deoxygenated blood to your lungs. Okay, these bright red ones that you see leaving the lungs are the pulmonary veins. Okay, bringing blood back to the heart. If I pull this down, okay, pull all this up. There's your aortic arch. So this is your aorta coming from the left ventricle. Here's your aortic arch. Then it's going to go down to the descending aorta. Okay, up here it's the thoracic aorta. Down here it's the abdominal aorta. Still part of the descending aorta. Okay, abdominal stomach. Mm -hmm. So if I pull this down here, here's my arch. Here's your brachiocephalic artery. Okay, if I pull that down, I see three branches. I see a left common carotid, a right common carotid. They go up towards the head. Then I see a right subclavian. Okay, right subclavian. If I go like this. So the very first branch is the vertebral artery. The second branch is the costocervical. The third branch is your thyrocervical. The one coming down is the internal mammary. Okay. When I keep following the subclavian, okay, once it enters into the arm, it becomes the axillary, which I'll show you on that side. But I'm just trying to show you this other branch right there underneath that string. Right there. Okay, that's your subscapular. It's going to go up towards the subscapula. The other branch is going to be your left subclavian. Okay, and I'm just going to follow it up here. Okay, so there's your three branches again. Your internal mammary. Once the subclavian comes up here and enters into the arm, it becomes the axillary. Okay. Then once it by bypasses the, comes into the uh, bicep, becomes brachial. the brachial. Keep following it, and it's going to bifurcate again. And you have one going towards the uh, radial side, so that's your radial. One going towards the ulnar side, so that's the ulnar.